Mama, I oh shit. Why do you have Mama's phone? So, you finally decided to pick up? Where have you been? The whole family's been worried sick. I'm staying with Ben's family. Ben who? Is he the one that was in that awful picture of you that's in the Gazette? He didn't answer my first question. Put Mama on the phone. I want to talk to her. You ain't talking to Mama. You're talking to me. So get over it. Ben who? Ben Williams. You know him. We were both in Children's Church Choir. Is that that black boy that destroyed the shop window on Main Street? Ben Williams is the whitest white boy you could possibly meet. Then who's the black boy? Do you know who Ben Williams is or not? Was he related to Cheryl Atkins? Who's Cheryl Atkins? She would be his great aunt. How would I know that? Okay, then who's his mama? Debbie Williams. She used to be a Turner. And what about his daddy? Jeez, Chris. Am I going to have to tell you his whole family tree? I just want to make sure that you're staying with good people, Julie. Ben does come from a good family. Uh, his daddy and his uncle own that produce shop around the county line, Williams Produce. Garrett Williams? Come on. Uh, his daddy, Mr. Williams, I mean, uh, his daddy got real bad cancer and they had to cut off his leg because it spread real bad. Oh, you're staying with that, Ben? Who do you think I was talking about? Benjamin Bowman. <laughs> Shit, Chris. Benjamin Bowman is dead. He had that real bad wreck in January. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, Julie, I don't mind you hanging out with Ben, but <laughs> you just can't stay with him forever. His mama said I could. It don't matter what Miss Debbie thinks. Think about it. It's not safe staying with them with this virus going around. It's not like I'm staying in the house. I wouldn't do, do that to them. What do you mean? I'm staying in their pool house on an air mattress. Why on earth are you doing that when you have a perfectly good bed at home? Come on, Chris. I know you're not stupid. The whole family's probably having a cow over the protest. Well, I'd say they have a right to be a little freaked out about it. You were on the front page of the news holding up a sign that said, all cops are bastards, while in mid punch to hitting someone in the face. All cops are bastards. I'm not a bastard, Julie, and neither are the folks that I work with. Is that really what you're upset about? 
you put me in quite a spot with the boys, Julia. They want to know why my little sister would say something like that when she knows that her brother is a cop. Oh, you're worried about your reputation. Glad to know where your priorities are. No, I'm worried about you. You've been acting funny lately around the family. I finally have the courage to talk about what I think is right. I think you found yourself in the wrong crowd. Is this some new age feminist stuff that you've been learning from them? Them? Those boys egging you on. No. No, the punch was my idea, Chris. It was my new age feminism taking over. You think punching is feminism? When required. And you gotta admit, it's a pretty great action shot of me for the Gazette. You broke his nose. So this is about Ryan Shaw. You're lucky he didn't press charges. Yeah, well, it's probably because he got off on it. He's a freak. Girls that work with at the deli think he's a real creep. That, that punch of the nose is going to be the closest interaction that Herbert will ever get with a woman. Is this funny to you? I think you're the one here with the wrong priorities and all your little friends, too. Ryan Shaw was the one spitting on protesters with all of his horrible shouting. He was doing the exact same thing you all were doing. We were protesting a cause. Black Lives Matter. Well, so was he. No, no, he wasn't. He was screaming all lives matter. And that deserved a punch in the face for saying that all lives matter. Do you even hear him talk, Chris? He's saying some really terrible things, especially to this one guy, Marcus. Was Ryan Shaw saying that all cops are bastards? No, he wasn't. It was you and that boy yelling. Chris, build a bridge and get over it. Cops nowadays aren't like the ones we used to watch on Andy Griffith. No, they're the ones that lynch black people. I haven't lynched anyone, Julie. You're, st you're still racist, Chris. And so is Ryan Shaw. <laughs> What are you talking about? I have friends that are black, and so do you. Oh my god. What? I do. They've never said that I was racist. Do you hear yourself? I am not a racist, and I'm a good cop, Julie. Do you get nervous around black people, Chris? What? Look, Julie. It's not looking too good for you here. I mean, mom and dad have been getting calls left and right about you and what you did. It's, it's not looking too good for your noble cause either. Does it make you nervous when you see a group of them hanging out together? Have you ever pulled them over just because you think it's suspicious behavior? Julie, would you listen to me? You believe in all lives matter, don't you? Of course I do, because all life on this earth should be treasured. How come I'm not allowed to date a black person, Chris? Well, that's different, Julie. Tell me how that's different. It's a different culture, Julie. Just admit it. It's the color of their skin that bothers you. I know it. You know it. Chris, I know I'm racist. But you not owning up to it is worse. You're a cop. know why I know I'm racist? Because I was raised to be biased. I went to a school where almost everyone was white, and I live in a town where the population is almost 97% white. I mean, any story our parents or grandparents told, they always mention the race of the person, as if it's important for the story at all. Chris, I had to ask permission if it was okay to watch certain kid shows because they showed a relationship between a white person and a black person. And when I see a cute black guy, I can't help but wonder if my family would beat him up if he ever went out with me. Because I can't get the words out of my head of my own grandmother saying she didn't want a bunch of wigger grandbabies. Worse is when I go out, Chris. I'm already 
clutching at my pepper spray because I'm a woman and I can't help but clutch it a little harder when I see a black person passing by. I know I'm racist, but I'm learning how not to be. And what I don't understand is that we've gone through this shit time and time again, and yet nothing is done. It's like America just wants to set aside racism like it's a fucking pie after telling them four course meal of oppression. Do you watch your language? Hey, that's it. You don't listen, but as soon as you hear the first curse word out of my mouth. There are other words. Like your favorite one? What are you talking about? Are you afraid to say it now? You used to say it a lot. I don't anymore. Well, at least that's one less racist thing you've done. I'm not trying to be hateful or whatever you think in that big head of yours. I just want you to understand why this happened, why it needed to happen. Breaking a store window on Main Street needed to happen. Who said that was the protesters? Come on, Julie. I know it had to be one of your friends with you. You should be asking your buddy Ryan Shaw about that, not me. Julie, come on, that's the whole reason you aren't staying here. You're afraid that I'm gonna find out. I'm afraid that my own brother is gonna throw me in jail. For the stunt that you pulled? Yeah, your ass ought to be in jail right now. I'm telling you that wasn't me or any of the other protesters. You're accusing me of something I didn't do. Do you know how much my ass is on the line for you? The only thing I did was punch Ryan Shaw in the face. What about that boy you were with? What boy? The boy in the picture beside you. Marcus? Is he the black boy beside you? You haven't heard one word I've said to you. Is that his name? What's his last name? What did Marcus do? Just tell me his last name and you won't be in any trouble. I thought you said Ryan Shaw didn't press any charges. He didn't. Then why did you say? I'm trying to fix your screw up, Julie. I need his last name. What are you going to do? Arrest me if I don't tell you? We're not going to let it come to that. Marcus is a good guy. He wouldn't do anything you all are accusing him of. Listen, Julie. It's him or you. Do you really want this on your record? I can tell you right now if it comes to taking you in, I'll do it myself. The whole family will be disappointed in you. They already are, but seeing you cuffed in the back of my cruiser will make it a whole hell of a lot worse. It won't be pretty. Mama and Daddy are really going to let you have it unless you give me that boy's last name. So I'm going to ask you one more time. What is Marcus's last name? His last name is Brown. Marcus Brown.